you've been at this club as, as, as chairman and owner in the past and you said the last time that the uh, changing rooms were redeveloped was back in 1985 and there's a funny story about this gentleman Ian Ormond Rogers sat next to you. Can you tell us a bit about it? It's, it was, it's a good story. The changing rooms in 1985 were disgraceful and then they were disgusting and we had no money and we don't know where we're going to come from to do them. Anyway, Ian Almondroyd and Aston Villa, they wanted Ian Ian Almondroyd and they were prepared to give a lot of money for him. And they did give, I think it was £650,000, which was a lot of money to this club. But Tilly Dillon was a the manager then, and I knew that if I didn't snatch some of that money to do the changing rooms, home and away, I bet them into something respectable where people came from visiting clubs, didn't criticise us all the time, the, the light changing room. We did the changing room. Out of the money we got for Ian, and we had some change left for the club to buy something. But it was because of Ian and, and the money we got from Aston Villa that we were managed to put together the changing rooms in 1985. Because the club previous to that had just recently been into administration and it was in a very poor way. And, and Ian, you were uh, playing for your hometown club at the time. Uh, the chairman comes along and says, right Ian, you're off, we need you to go. <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> well, I was a bit of a home bird at the time and um, I went back to the club and says, uh, I'm not sure I want to go. And, uh, and Jack, Jack and Moisland are the uh, chief scout at the time, so I says, you don't want to go? <laughs> you don't want to go? <laughs> Sort of, you've got to go type thing, and the more I thought about it, I knew it was a no-brainer really that I had to, I had to do it and had to go, and um, it was a, it was a massive step in my career as well, and um, you know it was, it was great to, to go, and obviously we did, did really well. Uh, the first year, I think we were struggling a little bit, um, but the second year we got into Europe and finished second, 1990, um, and should have actually won the league that year. It was the last time Liverpool won the league in 1990. Um, and we were top with about seven games to go and we blew up at the end and unfortunately but we finished second and got into Europe and ended up playing Inter Milan in, in the European Cup. So Ian got us out of the uh, mire with it. And I suppose you, you've been synonymous with Bradford City for, for decades now. Football does repeat itself, history repeats itself. So new changing rooms, we'll have a new st uh, a scoreboard later this summer, slightly delayed but you were instrumental in the changing rooms and to some extent the scoreboard as well. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I, I think I think I had, I had something to do with the scoreboard. It might have been paying for it. The old one. <laughs> uh, I just can't remember clearly. But anyway, it was a good investment, and it's a, and it needed replacing, and it's good again. And uh, we've we've experienced some changes this year um, with new owners coming into the club. You know better than anybody what it's like to run a football club. Have you got any advice? You've met Edin, and and, and I think you got him particularly well. Have you any advice for the new owners? Well, you've you got to enjoy it, and, it, and sometimes you get a lot of pressure. Unfortunately from supporters, if you're not doing right well, they, they, they take a dim view at times. And they can upset the chairman, and the chairman can think, what have we done this for? Anyway, we don't want that to happen. Well, it's supposed to get behind the new, the new directors and the new owners, and behind the team, if we lose a few, we lose a few. And if we get a lot of wins, that's all for the good. And lastly, we've just uh, signed another deal with JCT 600 to be the, on the front of the shirt sponsors. Uh, your support for the club is unwavering as, a, as an individual and as a company. It's unwavering. It's Bradford, and we're a Bradford company, and we've done very well out of Bradford with our business, and we like to put a bit back in. Brilliant. Thanks, Jack. You're, you're very welcome. Thank you.